How's it going everyone? JakexVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today's video is obviously all about update 9, an update that we're going to receive either today or tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, sometime this week. And in this video, I'm going to show you every single new car we're going to get, every single new feature, every single new fix, and all of the information you need to know about this update crammed into a little video. So if it's helpful, please do consider subscribing to the channel. However, just 30 seconds before we get into the video, I need to quickly talk about this video's sponsor, BOTB. You can win your own dream car with BOTB, the dream car competition company. The tickets start at just 85 pence and there are over 150 cars to choose from. All you have to do is head to BOTB.com and have a go at their Spot the Balls competition. And if you get the winning coordinates in the game, you win the car. BOTB also have a lifestyle competition each week as well where you could win a Visaro racing simulator worth over £10,000 for just 55p. The competitions are open to anyone in the world and you only have to be 16 to enter. Links are in the description below. Okay, enough of that, now let's talk about the update. One of the main things that people look forward to every update is obviously a brand new festival playlist which gives us access to lots of new cars. So what I'm going to tell you about first are the new cars, then I'm going to tell you about the new features, and then I'm going to tell you about some of the new fixes and bug fixes and stuff like that. So, the new cars that we are getting this month that have never been in Forza Horizon 4 before are the following. In the first week, which is summer starting in a few days, at 50% completion of the festival playlist you will get the Morris Traveller which is a new car which has just been added. At 80% con completion, you'll get the Volkswagen Forza Edition, which is not a new car. And for one of the new events, you'll get a new Mini Cooper John Works Convertible, which is also a new car. The second week, which is autumn, at 50% completion, you'll get a new car, which is the Maserati MC12 Corsa. And at 80% completion, you'll get a Peugeot 205 Forza Edition, which is not a new car. In winter, the third week, at 50% completion, you'll get a Mini Countryman, which is a new car. At 80%, you'll get the Land Rover Forza Edition, which is not a new car. And for an event, you'll get a Mini JCW Buggy, which is a new car. On the fourth week, which is spring, at 50% completion, you'd get the Buick GSX. I think I pronounced that right. At 80% completion, you'll get the BMW M5 88 Forza Edition and... For an event, you'll get the Apollo IE. So there's about seven, seven, eight new cars or something. So most of them are minis, which seems to be what all the mini hype are going around has been like. But we've got the Apollo IE, the Buick, loads of new minis, the Maserati MC12 Corsa, which is pretty cool to be honest, and the Morris Traveller and stuff like that. So when it comes to new cars, that is what we're getting in this update. Now to talk about all the new features that we're getting. Custom Adventure has finally been added. Custom Adventure is basically where you can open up and start an adventure or at least search for one online to the specifics of your choosing. For example, you can change the racing series to dirt, road or whatever. Then you can choose the car class from B, A, S1 or S2. Then you can choose if you want free your own rush on and off and then collisions on and off as well. If there's enough people in the world looking for those same specifics as you, then you can play that custom adventure with them online. Another good new feature is the wall riding fix. Wall riding is now no longer possible. This is one of the first things they're adding to do with the new griefing system they want to do. Now the way the wall ride fix works is basically if you go into a wall and it purposely wall ride, it's going to slow you down for a couple of seconds or something like that. Now they've worked proper hard on this wall ride fix, it's not going to be very buggy. Um, if you accidentally get pushed into a wall by an opponent, the wall ride does not activate. You're completely fine. The wall riding fix, the wall riding penalties only activate if you purposely wall ride into a wall. And by the looks of it, from the footage of the live stream, the game does know pretty well when it's an accident and when it's not. By the looks of it, there was a little bit of anti-ramming system in there as well. For example, if there's a really fast car coming up behind you and they completely ram you, um, into a wall or even just not into a wall it seems like it may actually ghost the car so there might be a lot less ramming by the looks of it in this update another new feature it was we have the new horizon story which is actually a new business as well all about car insurance it's called the car files basically horizon story which is based on super hard tasks all to do with car insurance claims it's, it's quite a bit to explain but i'm sure if you go and play the story you'll know exactly what i mean 
and there's actually a reward for completing it this story which is a crash, te a crash test dummy morph suit which I don't think we have a photo of but a crash test dummy morph suit is actually pretty cool. <laughs> That's a tongue twister that. Crash test dummy morph suit. Blech. For the new features, I think that's basically it, but there's quite a lot of fixes which technically could be new features as well, which I'll explain now. There's quite a lot of audio fixes in the game. For example, the Kungzeg Agera RS, many of you will know which, if you drove it for a long lot of time, the supercharger would get louder and louder and it would just mess up the engine sound. That has apparently now been fixed. Also in the Hooney truck, that has apparently been giving a different car sound. It was given the wrong engine sound to start with, but now it's different and sorted. Another new fix is, as you'll know, in some championships, you need to complete them on like expert difficulty to get one of the new cars. Um, if you start the championship on the wrong difficulty, accidentally, it's going to pop up with a little message just warning you that, oh, if you start the championship like this, you're not going to get the new car. Just a bit of a heads up. Um, if you've accidentally selected the wrong difficulty. And then there was a Q&A at the end talking about some possible future features and future additions to the game, which I'll talk about now. We'll be giving information on more body kits. Basically, they're technically confirmed. There are more body kits coming. They're being worked on, but there's no release date just yet. Someone asked about the option to maybe sell or get credits in return for duplicate cars that you get in wheel spins. This is a feature they are interested in doing, but it's quite low on the list. Um, so you never know, we might see that in the future. I think they also hinted at class-based rivals as well. She kind of like hinted at that. She didn't say no, but she didn't say yes. By the looks of it, that's possible. Window stickers is a big one. And this did seem like a no. It seems quite relatable to the brake caliper painting situation where it's going to take a very, very long time for them to sort out window stickers. So maybe if they ever get requested it enough, they might do it, but nothing in the immediate future. And then someone mentioned the route creator. Is it going to be possible in the future to maybe start the route creator races um, in other locations other than just event start points? This was also a maybe. I'll have to look into it. Now, one last thing that happened in this live stream is there was the car sound fella um, being asked loads of questions. Basically, what I mean is the guy that sorts out the car sounds in the game, he was on there and he answered a load of questions and just basically talked about the process that goes into making car sounds in the game. And to be honest with you, he showed us and explained the process for getting car sounds into the game when it's a new car or an old car. And it does seem like a big process and I can sort of maybe understand why not every car in the game has its own exclusive sound. But I think as a community, what annoys us most is the cars that used to sound good, but now sound bad. I keep mentioning the Lamborghini Gallardo. That sounded brilliant in Horizon 3. Now it's just got a duplicate sound. Why? But let me know in the comment section below if I should do a video talking all about the car sounds, because this guy showed us lots of footage of actual real life recordings of real life car sounds of how they do it and it was quite interesting to be honest with you i quite enjoyed watching that but from what it seems like there's they didn't mention a car sound update i'm not expecting one now to be honest the most i'm expecting is maybe fixing some of the duplicate sounds but i don't know we'll have to see in the future but yeah when it comes to update 9 that's basically it there's not much more to say but to be honest, most of the features in Update 9 that we were going to get, we kind of already knew a bit about, like the custom adventure and stuff like that, and the body kits, etc, etc. What I'm looking forward to now is Update 10, because we have absolutely no idea what's going to be in Update 10. No clues whatsoever. Let me know what your favourite feature you're looking forward to this update is going to be. As I said, this update will be released sometime this week, possibly within the next 24 hours. Um, this video is going to be released a few hours after the live stream is actually live. So if you're watching this video just as it's been released, expect the update within 24 hours, 48 hours, something like that, around then anyway. But anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content just like this, and I'll see you all later.